All right, we're gonna pick up the tournament here. Let's go to another new hole. This looks a little crazy. There's an island, fairway. It looks like that you would use that more of a, a bouncer off onto that third fairway. I'm probably gonna end up going for that shot. It looks like you get a real nice angle over that way. But I'm definitely gonna go off of whatever this guy does. I know I can get over. I'm not worried about that. Uh, it looks like he's not, he didn't put any spin on his. So I'm interested in seeing how this plays. Of course, that shank doesn't help. Yeah. That is close. So I have a little bit more distance than he does with the Apocalypse 5. So I'm not too worried, too terribly worried about distance on this. Um, I definitely want at least, more so than anything, I'm, I think I'm going to use this ball. It looks like the green's a little tight. The biggest thing that I like about this ball here is going with this ball. Is It looks like the... The second shot's going to be a bit tight. Man, I really was not going for that shank. I hope this ball's okay. Nope. Shoot. So it looks like, you know, I could have full spun that. Because it still didn't make the green into the wind like that. In, into the fairway. I don't know if I'm even going to get to the green with that wind. I might still be able to run it up there, but I doubt it. I really needed to get it to that fairway. So maybe this is the time for me to make that decision to, you know, just play the holes, get a feel for them. I really thought my ball was going to be fine, but with that shank, you know, even if I got on that fairway, it might not have been fine. I might have, I might have hit that into the bunker. So I was really trying to not do that. And it just, you know, with never playing the hole, was not sure how much that wind was going to play, how it was going to hop, anything. But into the wind, I could have done a little bit more with that shot. So it doesn't look like, yeah, it looks like if I would have got downwind, I'd still get there. Um, but nevertheless... I'll still get it to that fairway pretty easily. So I'll probably do something a little bit. Just try to get it to the end of that fairway and do something with the pitch. So not trying to do anything too aggressive here. Just get it in play. Um, the pitch shouldn't be too bad, especially if it comes in with uh, something with a little bit. It looks like we have a nice crosswind here, as long as I can come at this with a uh, claw. It might not be too bad. Now, I'm not sure how much slope this green has yet. Oh, that was unlucky. Let's see here. Yeah, definitely the claw. As you can see, as I'm bringing this club through here, it kind of sucks. It's really not a good pitch unless you're landing it about here. So I might try to do that. Just put one bar backspin. This is pretty much pretty much my typical shot anyway. But this seems kind of like the way to go, just because that landing zone was consistent. You saw the hops weren't, you know, all over the place. And you know that's an important that's an important factor to me. So it looks like I overplayed that wind, hit the rough. <sighs> Easy pitch from there. No big deal. I 
I was running out of time. Had to just go with the shot that I was coming up with, so not that worried about it. Uh, what was that? This was a par five, I believe. I think he might have birdied. I mean, you know, I'd kind of be inclined to even miss this one just to... But I'll just go ahead and get it. I mean, you see, I'm not going to play too much wind. I'm going to keep it inside hole, uh, right on the right edge. That that wind's not going to take it too terribly much on something that's this close. That was enough wind for it to, you know, hit the center of the pin there. So nothing too tricky. If you make a you know minor mistake, you can get out of trouble. So that puts me at two under. I, uh, uh, that hole wasn't that challenging. I made it look a lot harder than it was. Uh, kind of we both did. So um, I was more about wanting to get to this uh, hole right here, just so we could you know see another hole, see what the tiebreaker looks like. Um, and I'm glad that we got a different hole. I'm gonna go for this one and just kind of show you what what kind of the best play is. The I do more or less what this guy just did, which was about two bars of backspin, utilizing that slope. He didn't quite get it up that slope as much as you're gonna want or play enough hook to. So he would have been fine if he went a little deeper. It would have got down there. But. Uh, I play mine just a tiny bit different, which is going to be more curl. Try to keep it away from all that right slope, because I don't really like that right slope. I like utilizing more of the back slope. So I'm going to do about two bars of backspan, more or less. And I'm going to basically set this as my target with a full curl, and then just try to utilize that slope. I'll adjust my target, try to get it as good as I can, play about eight miles. Let's see this this approach here, it's a little bit more aggressive on my line. Uh see it's going up a little high. I didn't want I didn't want it to go all the way back there because it usually slingshots the hole. But uh, you see how it kind of slingshot and went too far. You, you don't really want to do that, but it's really hard to judge with driver, especially not being able to get you know a full trail. Or I, I wasn't sure that it was going that deep. I didn't want to do that. But you saw the way that my ball came through the green there. That's more of the angle that I want to do it on. All I needed it was to stop maybe four or five yards sooner from going up into that fringe and it would have just came right down there and it would have been real nice. Okay, so two under through two, um, not bad, not good. Um, so about this point, I'm probably just gonna, you know, back off and I'll just talk discussion on the holes instead of, you know, putting stuff in and qualifying. I'd rather I'd rather get get another go because I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to practice these holes or not. So 